Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to import livestock quotes into Microsoft Excel. Now uh, before I begin, if you'd like to download this workbook, you can. Just go to the website teachexcel.com, search for this um, video tutorial, and you can get the workbook there. Now there are a number of different ways that you can actually import stock quotes into Excel or live stock quotes. Um, you could copy and paste them or you could go ahead and get a data connection straight from say Yahoo Finance or Google Finance but the way I'm going to show you today is um, the simplest way to do it and it actually has a pretty good result. So let's go ahead and begin. Now in Excel um, 2007 to import this data you go to the data tab and click existing connections. Now in previous previous versions of Excel you can also do this but uh, you have to go about it a different way. So data tab, existing connections and click that and a window like this is going to pop up. By default you're going to have these three things already here. These three uh, connection files for MSN Money Central investor currency rates, major indices and investor stock quotes. So since we want to get some stock quotes in here um, I'm going to go ahead and click the MSN Money Central Investor Stock Quotes. The next thing I'm going to do, click open, and a window like this is going to pop up. So um, this just says where do you want to put the stock quotes when it comes in. And uh, this is the upper leftmost cell that's going to be imported. So I'll leave that as A1. If you want it in a new worksheet, just click the new worksheet bubble. But also, very important, is if you're looking at this data intraday, so if you're in um, the middle of a trading day and you'd like to have your stock quotes updated, you have to click the properties tab here. Otherwise it's not going to do it. So, or it's not going to do it at the interval you'd like. So these are all the things you can do. Um, but the main one is you'd like to do refresh control and data formatting and layout. Really the only thing I ever end up touching here is refresh every. I click that change it from 60 minutes to one minute. That means our stock quotes will refresh every one minute so we'll get the updated um, stock quotes every minute. You can also click refresh data when opening the file if you'd like. It's up to you. And click OK. Then click OK. Now here is where you're going to type in the ticker symbols for your stocks all separated by a comma. I just type it in by hand because it's easier to do it that way in this example. So Google, Bank of America, and Citigroup. Now this is also important. It will save you, I don't know, an annoyance I suppose. Click use this value reference for future refreshes. If you do not click this, every time the spreadsheet refreshes you will have to re-enter the stock quotes or re-enter the cell the cell reference. So this will just save you a headache of having to do that. So check that, click OK, and check it out. So this is what actually imports. You get the stock here, Google, Bank of America Corp, Citigroup. You can click Chart or News. These are all links to a website, and as I hover over it, you can see it takes me to the MSN Money Central website. And these are all the last trades, close, high, so you've got pretty much everything you could get from Yahoo or Google Finance right here. And so you can see just how easy that is and how it comes in very nicely formatted. So um, it requires pretty much no work um, to actually make everything look good and useful. So that's how you import uh, live stock quotes into Excel. And note it's going to, um, per the settings that we did, refresh every one minute. So most importantly, this is going to refresh every one minute as well as everything else. And that is the most basic way to import stock quotes into Excel. Like I said a second ago, if you'd like to get this spreadsheet, go to teachexcel.com, search for this video tutorial, and you can download it there. That's it for this tutorial.